thought you were stronger than this. Fear me, okay, okay. We're, we're back with a new video. That's my terrible Bane's voice. If you've seen The Dark Knight Rises, I actually like Bane there, you know. Somehow they did a good job, he did a good job. The voice actually kills me. It's actually funny. Long story short, we're back with a new video. I know it's been it's, it's been a while, it's been ages, it feels like a year. Damn, I've been slacking. My fault. But we're back. This is gonna be a simple practice video. I'm gonna have more of these videos popping up to just illustrate and show you how I basically practice or draw what I wanna get done in general. And I'm gonna be showing you little tips and tricks I use. I'm using a color pencil basically just to show in more details because I don't have I don't want to go in with a pencil again and you know, have it to more time is mainly used by animators and you have comic artists let's say you, let's say you're making a comic you know you could start up drawing your, your pencil to get in with a blue coloring pencil then get in with a lead graphite pencil you know, so it depends on what you want to do. But I mainly just use it to, you know, go into details before I ink. I'm gonna drop another inking video specifically for, let's say, texturing, you know, line weight and shading. Well, the basics still remain the same. The outer lines should be thicker than the inner lines. Then you have the muscle folds, you know, where they intersect, you know, that kind of thing. Where you have multiple muscles converging at a point. Then you're going to have a more darker shade of line going in there. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. If you haven't seen my video on line weight and shading, where I lay down the basics and the uses of line weights in general you got different uses for line weights not intriguing you can make a 2d shape look more 3d you know, even if it's flat or not you have objects closer to the camera or to the camera lens rather you know, they would have thicker lines you'd have um characters or you you'd have backgrounds with thinner lines compared to a character let's say you draw a character standing in the background the character should have more thick line to it if you get what i'm trying to say i'm just going i'm basically these are not original comic characters maybe i should make them one but they are not original comic characters they are random characters i'm just drawing up i'm just gonna give this guy a ponytail and little bit of waves in them so i'm basically drawing two fit you know your gym muscular super soldier combo twins i don't know what you want to call it but it is what it is so just enjoy them I'm gonna have videos coming up on human proportions and foreshortening so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you keep in touch why am I doing this practice video basically like I already said the human proportions you gotta be able to draw a standing figure of a human being or yeah of a human being in general you know have you don't wanna you don't wanna have a drawing let's say you have a character standing and then he's got like big ass feet and his you know his legs are thin or his body is just too big or his head is just you know like a flipping mountain so you wanna have the proportions right you don't want to have the arms longer you don't want to have you just don't want to have issues you don't want to have issues bro you know 
that's not how it's gonna be. You go enjoy the all. You go do it right. You now people like to skip. They don't want to get it done right. But we are still learning. Still, we are learning. Still, I usually don't use these copic colors to color my dark skin characters. I actually use a warm gray. But right now, my warm grays are lacking. So. I have to improvise. I go simplified anatomy videos, you can check them out. The arms, the ribs, the muscles, the obliques, everything you want is right there. I'm also gonna have a coloring tutorial, so I've, I've said, I always say that. So, so when I get all my coloring materials, I'm gonna smash it out. Show you different variations, different combinations. You could do flat colors. I'm gonna do flat colors, you know, from the darkest to the lightest, tonal graduate. I'm gonna do all that. Gonna have all that going on, so no stress. I'm just keeping it simple, trying to keep it simple. Especially if you're still trying to get the hang of it, you don't want to try and go pro. I mean, obviously, you should try once in a while, but go be doing things right first. Oh, you will suffer. Okay, I didn't get the voice this time. But I think Bane is meant to be like a, like a Russian based voice kind of character. I'm not, I'm not gonna do a Russian impression. I'm not about to. You know, get the sticks out here. I'm not gonna embarrass myself. Well, that's it, folks. So, I'm gonna have more practice videos coming up. I'm gonna have a couple more and more detailed and explanation. So, peace.